Right, it's come down to the potentiometers here for the balance and for the volume. And what I'm going to do here is basically a flush through. So I'm going to put a bit of tissue underneath it, kitchen roll underneath it. And I'm going to spray directly into those contacts and whilst moving them around and hopefully flush out any of the contamination in there. So I'm just going to make it travel the whole distance. And hopefully all the contamination was carried away by the first few sprays. Also as well if you've got an airline you can blow it out. If you haven't, let's do it yourself. Potentiometers have now been cleaned out. And move on to this board here, which is the Fano head socket and this board is completely loose it's come away completely um, okay the socket on the front doesn't come out I'm not sure if it's broken so I need to access this area down here which is going to be a little bit tricky so I'm going to have a quick look at that plates off and there's the piece that's fallen out so it has actually broken the plastic okay so I took the front cover off this piece fell out and this is the component behind it the board for the Fano socket and it's basically snapped off so I'm going to have to find a way of re-gluing this back into position I'll see if I can remove the switch first to give me some access to it uh, because I want to really remove it and glue it outside, <coughs> outside of the uh, board. Okay, I've managed to get the rubber bit off the front of it so I can now release the power switch and access the board behind. All right. Managed to gain enough access now to get to the uh, broken component. So there's two choices really, isn't there? They either change the whole component or there's actually quite a lot of surface area here to bond. So I'm going to try and re-glue it back on here using um, a super glue type of product. I don't want to use an arrow die if I can avoid it because I don't want to get any on the inside because that's where the obviously the headphone jack goes into. So let's do that next. I'm just going to clean off the surfaces to be bonded with the degreaser again just to make sure it gives the super glue the maximum chance of working. And while I'm there I think I'll clean up the contact for the headphone connections. Apply the super glue. I find super glue it works really well especially sticking your hands together or it just does not work at all so I'm going to see how good it is on this plastic I'm going to leave this now even though it's supposed to dry pretty much within uh, a minute or so I'm going to leave that for 10 minutes give it the best chance of bonding and then come back to it mm. right the glue has had a long time to dry now 
when I took the front cover off this fell out um, and this is actually the locking device for the headphone socket so I'm gonna put that back in now reassemble the unit through okay it's re-secured we mount the uh, power switch all right it's back on Okay, let's give this cover a quick clean up while we've got it off. Cleaned off the front cover, let's put that back on now, back into place. up as well. Let's wind that all the way up to number five and put it back on. So finally put that one on off line it up. It's not quite in the right place. Off A B. Okay buttons are working wind the balance all the way around put that on a zero there we go so that's five ten so that's the mid position and finally we've cleaned up the volume knob so wind the volume down all the way select that on zero there we are it's front panel finished Let's uh, put the lid back on it. In fact, before I do that, I'm going to clean up all the contacts on the back. The rear power general wipe off. So the components refitted, so it's just time to put the uh, lid on. That's it, the unit is now back together again. Let's plug it in and try it out. Power lights come on. So. The settings are switching over nicely. Okay, <clears throat> so let's hook it back up to the tape deck again with some speakers and give it a try. So the Pioneer amplifier has now been connected to the Denon tape deck. I've checked both the speakers and we're getting good output on both the left and the right. Now when we adjust the left and the right balance there's no crackling so cleaning out that potentiometer has sorted that problem out. I've checked the headphone socket which works well and I've been through the all the settings that we checked before to make sure that the treble, the bass etc etc still works. The um, output is now connected, the speakers are now connected onto B so when you go across to B it clicks over so 
Let's turn that down a bit. So you've got left and the right channels all working now. So I'm really pleased with how the amplifier has worked out. So we've now got the second element of our retro hi-fi system. So that concludes this group of videos on the Pioneer amplifier. I hope you found some of the techniques we've used useful and some of the information of interest and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you.